In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question search in rotated sorted array. So the problem statement is suppose an array sorted in ascending order is rotated at some pivot unknown to you beforehand. For example, if you uh, look at these two arrays, so so uh, this sorted array is rotated four times to the right and after rotation we get this array so by looking at these two array we know that uh, this array is rotated four times to the right but in actual problem you have uh, you have given an input array which 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 can be rotated any number of times and you actually don't know how many times it is rotated and you are given a target value to search if found in this array return its index else return minus one and you may assume no duplicate exists in this array and to solve this problem try to use algorithm whose uh, runtime complexity should be o log n so let's take a few example so in this example you can say this sorted array is rotated uh, any number of times let's assume any number of times actually by looking at this example you know that this uh, array is rotated four times to the right but assume it is rotated any number of times and the target value is given so target value is zero so we have to search zero in this rotated sorted array and zero is found at fourth index so zero one two three and fourth so at fourth index this target value is found so we return uh, its index 4 and in example 2 we have to search 3 in this rotated sorted array and if we see a 3 is not present in this array so we return minus 1 so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem we have to solve this problem in o log n time complexity but let's start with the easiest approach and then we will optimize our approach to solve them in o log n time complexity so what's the easiest approach comes in your mind uh, when you see this problem so the easiest approach is to simply traverse this array and compare the target value with the value present at each index of an array and when the target value is found simply return its index so if the array is empty we return minus one else we traverse an array from zeroth index and compare them with the target value so we first compare 4 is 4 is equal to uh, 0 no is 5 is equal to 0 no is 6 is equal to 0 no is 7 is equal to 0 no is 0 is equal to 0 yes so we found the target value in this array so we return its index and its index is 4 and now if we have to search 3 in this array then we continue our search uh, 0 is not equal to 3, 1 is equal to 3, 2 is equal to 3, no. Then we came out of this loop and we return minus 1. It means that this value is not present in this array. So let's talk about its time complexity. Its time complexity is on and its space complexity is o1 as we are not using any extra space. So this is the easiest approach to solve this problem. But in this approach, we have to compare I mean this target value with each element of an array. Let's discuss our next approach to solve this problem in O log n time complexity. We can solve this problem in O log n time complexity using binary search. But how we can use binary search for this type of input array? I mean you can see uh, this input array is not sorted and yes if you look at this complete input array it is not sorted but here is the interesting fact. So the interesting property of a sorted and rotated array is that when we divide the array into two halves, at least one of the two halves is always sorted. And if mid happens to the point of rotation, then both the halves will be sorted. For example, let's say if the mid is at this point, then this half and this half, both the halves will be sorted. And if now suppose if the mid happens to be at this point, then from this point to this point it is sorted and from this point to this point it is not sorted we can easily know which half is sorted by simply comparing a start and end element of each half for example for this array if the uh, computed mid is 3 then what i can do is i compare the element present at zeroth index with the element present at the mid index and 
if the element present at the mid index is greater than the element present at the zeroth index then this half is sorted and if the target value lies in this half then i uh, continue my search in this half else i move to next half and again i compute the mid and again i see which half is sorted and if the target value lies in that half then i continue my search else i move to next half this code is a slightly modified version of binary search and let's see how we can uh, find the target value using this uh, using this approach so to compute the mid we need uh, two indexes a start and end so the value of start is zero and the value of end uh, is array length minus one so array length minus one it, so the length is seven and minus one it is six then uh, this is the condition we run this while loop until start is less than equal to end then we compute the mid so com computed mid is three so we reach at this index and at this index the value is seven so first we compare with the target value and the target value is we have to find zero in this array so it is not equal to zero then what we are checking is whether this half is sorted i mean whether this half is sorted so that we can up use the binary search in this half and yes it is sorted then uh, the next condition is is the target value lies in this half so the target value is zero so the target value is greater than equal to this start and less than equal to this value no so we reach at this statement and this statement so we reinitialize the value of start which is mid plus one so the mid is three so the new value of start is four and then we uh, we move to next iteration in this the value of start is four the value of end is the value of end is six and we again compute the mid so now the mid is five six plus four divided by two five so we reach at this index and we reach at this index so the value present at this index is one so is one is equal to target value which is zero no and again we see so the start is start is at this point and the mid is at this point so again we check whether this half this half has sorted yes this half is sorted and the target value lies in this half so the condition is is target is greater than equal to the value present at uh, this index and less than equal to the value present at this index yes this time this condition is true so we reach at this statement and it means we have to reinitialize the value of end which is mid minus one so the mid is five and the new value of end is four so the value of star so let's move to next iteration the value of start is four and the value of end is also four and we compute the mid which is four and now the mid is this one four and we compare the value present at this index is equal to the target value yes so we found the target value and we return its index we return its index which is uh, four so now let's take another example to understand this uh, approach better this time the array has eight elements and we have to search five in this array so again first we need to compute the mid and for this we need start and end index so the value of start is zero and value of end is array length minus one so array length is eight so it is seven and again this condition this while loop while the value of start is less than equal to end so the value of a start run this loop until the value of a start is less than equal to end and then we have to compute the mid so the mid is 3.5 and we have declared it as end so it is 3 and the value present at this index is 7 so it's not equal to 5 so this condition is not true then we are checking whether this half so i mean this half is sorted yes this half is sorted and is this target value lies in this half so yes so the condition is is target uh, so the val target value is greater than equal to this uh, uh, the value present at this index and less than equal to the value present at this index 
yes so we reach at this statement and we reinitialize the value of end so which is mid minus one so the new value of end is two so the value of start is zero and value of end is two so the uh, this condition is still true so the value of start is less than equal to end and in next iteration we compute the mid using these two uh, values so the mid is one and we reach at this uh, index and we compare the value present at this index is equal to the target value yes so we return uh, the index and the index is one so uh let's talk about its time complexity its time complexity is o log n and what about its space complexity so we have not used any extra space so its space complexity is o1 and what happens if the value is not found when the value is not found and this condition is false when a start is less than uh equal to end i mean this condition is false i mean the value of a start is greater than uh uh, end then we came out of this loop and we return minus one it indicates that we have searched uh, all possible uh, ways in this uh, array but we have not found the uh, target value so we return minus one so uh, this is the uh, so by using binary search we have solved this problem in o log n time complexity now let's see the main method in this main method i have declared an array and a target value and i am calling this method passing uh, array and a target value as an argument and the index which this method returns i am simply printing it so if i run this code you can see its output as 4 so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash webrewrite.com please don't forget to like this video thanks for watching this video